Today I'll show you nine Google Analytics SEO hacks that you can use to increase your organic traffic. You can use the Google Search Console Queries Report to see how many times your pages appeared in Google search results along with a search term. And you can track the click-through rate and average page rank. To get the most out of the Queries Report, you'll want to connect it with your Google Analytics account. If you're a Universal Analytics user, you can connect your account to Search Console by going to Admin, Property Settings, and then click the Adjust Search Console button and Add. Then select the correct property, and then just follow the steps to associate the two. Now once that's done, you can figure out what your organic visitors are looking for on your site by navigating to Acquisition, Search Console, and then Queries. Be sure to look for those with a high number of impressions but fewer clicks, and then see if you can make those terms more appealing in search results. With Monster Insight, you can see your search queries report right inside your WordPress dashboard. Before you dive into finding keywords and doing search engine optimization for your site, you'll want to make sure that your content delivers what your visitors are looking for. The best way to do that is by looking at the keyword intent. There are four types of keyword intent. They're navigational, that's when users are searching for a particular site. Informational, that's when they're trying to find an answer to a specific question. Investigational, that's when they're looking for information that might lead to a transaction. And then finally, transactional, that's when they're ready to buy. So if you're making affiliate sales, then you'll want to rank for investigational keywords. If you're selling a product, rank your landing pages for transactional keywords. Before you write a piece of content around that particular keyword, just run some searches and find out what kind of content is already ranking, what questions it's answering, and what can you write that will provide more value. Tracking the performance of your focus key phrases can help you see if you're attracting the right traffic. If you're using the all-in-one SEO plugin for SEO, you can choose a focus key phrase on every page of your site, and then you can track those focus key phrases with Monster Insights. To do that, you'll need to enable custom dimensions on your site, and then you can collect and analyze the data that Analytics doesn't track by default by enabling custom dimensions. I'll leave a link in the description to our beginner's guide to custom dimensions. Now, once you start getting referral traffic to your site, you'll want to monitor those links and look for opportunities for link building. For example, if someone is linked to a blog post of yours, then you can reach out to them and see if they'd like to link to another one of your pages as well. And additionally, you can offer to write a guest post for their site. To find the referrals traffic report, you can go to Acquisition, All Traffic, and then Referrals. And then click on any of the domains in the source column to see the specific page that sent traffic to your site. If you're using Monster Insights, you can find this information right inside your WordPress dashboard. Your organic landing pages are the pages where visitors first landed on your site. Now, the landing pages report provides a clear picture of how your visitors are engaging with your site, and monitoring those metrics can help boost your search rankings. You can find your landing pages report by going to Acquisition, Search Console, Landing Pages. In the Search Console report, you'll want to look at their click through rate, bounce rate, pages per session, and more. If you're seeing pages that have a high bounce rate and a low average time on the page, that means that the organic visitors didn't get what they wanted from your site, so you'll need to improve those metrics. Your website speed can make or break your online business, and it's a significant factor in how your site content ranks in search results. Recent studies show that even a one-second delay can reduce conversion rates by 7% and that 40% of visitors will leave a site that takes more than three seconds to load, and even more significantly, that 79% of web shoppers will not return to a site that has performance issues. To see your site speed report, you'll want to navigate to Behavior, Site Speed, and then Overview. And once you're there, you can see the average load time of your site along with browser speeds, and you can see which pages are taking more time to load by clicking on the Page Timings Report. With Monster Insights, you can see this report without ever leaving your WordPress dashboard. Campaigns allow you to discover what type of content your email subscribers are the most interested in and figure out what's working to bring in visitors and what's not. If your email subscribers are clicking on a particular type of link the most, that's a good sign that you should optimize it and build links to it to help you rank in search. To get that data, you can add extra parameters like keywords to your links using Monster Insights URL Builder that'll get tracked in Google Analytics. And once you get some clicks on your custom URL that you've placed in the newsletter, you can find that data by going to Acquisition, Campaigns, All Campaigns. Google is continuously refining its search algorithms. This means that your search traffic can fluctuate from time to time. 
to discover if there's been a significant change in your analytics report so you can fix it before you've lost a lot of traffic, you can set up custom alerts. To set up a custom alert, click Admin, and then in the View column, click Custom Alert. Then click New Alert and configure the settings to let you know if your organic search sessions have decreased by over 20% over the previous week, and click Save Alert. If you're spending a lot of time analyzing different SEO reports, using a custom dashboard can save you a lot of time. Now, you can import an existing custom dashboard from the Solutions Gallery and then edit it to meet your needs, or you can create a custom dashboard that displays your most used reports. To make a custom SEO dashboard, just head to Customizations, then Dashboards, and then click Create. Okay, that's it for today's video. Keep in mind that with Monster Insights, you get the website stats that matter. See why over 3 million websites use this, and you can get a special discount by visiting the link in the description. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials, explainers, and helpful content like this. We'll see you next time.